Hello everybody, I'm Kat, and I'm going to be participating in another readathon. Sophie over at All Things Equilateral is hosting a readathon for the whole month of May called Chick Litathon. I will leave the link to the announcement video down below as well as the link to her channel so you can check her out and subscribe. And she has a list of five different challenges to go along with this readathon. I'm going to show you part of my TBR for this month. So the first challenge is to read a book with pink on the cover, and for this challenge I chose Autobiography by Christina Lawrence. This book follows this boy named Tanner and three years ago his family moved from California to Utah which kind of forced him to go back into the closet which kind of forced him to go back into the closet because in California he was openly bisexual. So then one day one of his friends challenges him to go to this seminar where they challenge you to write a book in four months. But during the first month of the seminar Tanner ends up falling in love with Sebastian who is the prodigy who sold his own seminar novel just like a year ago. I've heard nothing but great things about this book, which makes me really excited to read it. The next challenge is to read something with music in it, whether a character is a rock star or there's a rock band or a singer in it. So for this challenge, I chose Who's That Girl by Blair Thornburg. This book follows this girl named Natalie, and when she finds out her old high school crush is back in town with his band to perform, she decides that this is another chance to meet again because they briefly met at a swimming pool one summer and they haven't ever met up again since. But then his band releases a song called Natalie and Natalie wonders if the song could possibly be about her even though they've barely met. This book sounds really cute. The premise of this book kind of reminds me of Audrey Waite by Robin Benway, which I adore that book. The next challenge is to read an old chick lit book that you've been wanting to read but just haven't made the time to read it. And for this I went with I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I know, I haven't read this book. This book is such a well-loved book here on booktube. This book follows these two twins named Jude and Noah, and when they were 13, they were inseparable. They always did everything together. But years pass, and now they are barely speaking to each other. And I know this book takes place from both of the twins' point of views, so I know like the earlier years are told from Noah's point of view, and like the current years are told from Jude's point of view. And I personally love it when books have two timelines going. They have the current timeline and then a backwards timeline. I'm pretty excited just because of that aspect of it and I've heard just fantastic things about it overall. The next challenge is to read a book by an author who's written a lot of books but you haven't read all of them. And for this one I went with Lucky in Love by Casey West. Now I know what you're thinking. I recently read a Casey West book and I didn't like it but I've heard that this book is like one of her best. I'm hoping that I'll like it. This book follows this girl named Maddie and she suddenly wins the lottery and she's been thrust into the spotlight because she won the lottery. But the only person that doesn't seem to know is her co-worker Seth and she doesn't know how to break the news to him that she's now won the lottery and she doesn't need a job anymore. The thing that I like most about Casey West books is that they're just really fast reads so I know this book won't take me very long to read. And the last challenge is to read a more serious chick lit novel and for this one I went with Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. This book follows this girl named Ramona and she's freakishly tall and has bright blue hair. Her family is still dealing with the effects of this hurricane that hit her town when she was very young and Ramona's kind of the responsible one in the family. She has multiple jobs and she's kind of keeping the family afloat but then her sister gets pregnant and all of a sudden even more responsibility adds on to Ramona's plate. But then one of Ramona's childhood best friends who moved away moves back to her town and it has Ramona questioning her own sexual identity. I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this book. I've never read a Julie Murphy novel and I really want to read Dumplin because I know the movie's coming out soon. I've really heard nothing but great things about this book. I'm really excited to get into it. All right and that is it for this TBR. Let me know down below if you're going to participate in Chick lit because I would love to know. And if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos every Thursday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!